My presentation intersects in three different disciplines, uh, tourism studies, and tourism studies was not academic field till the uh, late 70s, uh, because uh, before that, uh, people you know, traveled in large numbers, uh, but uh, they were not uh, the mass tourism that we know now, uh, with jet planes, and uh, going to theme parks, all of you are living next to Anaheim, Disneyland uh, is the world's uh, biggest theme park. And the second point is we want to contextualize the position of Korea in this global tourist industry. And the perspective we'll take will be uh, three different uh, methodologies. Uh, first, we'll do the tourist gaze. And the latest poster from the Hanguk Gwanggwang Gongsa has uh, uh, our favorite well, doing that, you know, heart pose, and he says, "당신의 당신의 미소로 한국을 선물하세요." So again, this is about packaging Korea for a world audience, and she's wearing a beautiful hanbok, smile Korea, and this is the latest visit Korea campaign. And so we're trying to figure out. We talked about orientalizing images uh, this morning and the eroticization of the uh, female body, and this kind of ad is directly tied to that uh, legacy. And second, we'll talk about uh, the kinds of destinations that became iconic landmarks in Korea, and we'll take this back to the early colonial era. Third, we'll talk about the impact of photography, and especially print media. And so most of my uh, slides come from the original postcards, guides, maps, that were being produced uh, in beginning in the early 20th century. And fourth, we'll try and conclude with this uh, commodification of uh, ethnic identity uh, for a world audience.